All right, so in this video, I'm going to give you one quick tip to uh, totally purge all ads and tracking and porn and everything else you want from your life. Um, so, I mean, a lot of people could use this. Maybe you just like want to sort of advance the ad blocker. Maybe you want your 14 year old kid to not watch porn. Maybe you want something else. Um, but it's pretty easy to ban uh, your machines from accessing websites. Um, so I'm on Linux, but this actually is going to work on Mac OS and Windows, and I'll tell you how to do that later. Um, but wh what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm just going to become a uh, root user. Um, now, in case you don't know, there's a little file on Linux, which of course has an equivalent in Windows and stuff. Um, on Linux, Linux, it's etsy.host, or excuse me, slash hosts. And if you open it up, it's basically a list of aliases for IP addresses. Um, so the idea is, uh, you know, whenever you are putting in localhost at uh, dot local domain, you're actually going to this IP address. Um, so let's let me show you how you can use this. Uh, first, I'll show you where you actually do have internet access. I'm going to go to my website, uh, which is luke.smith at dot xyz. Uh, now here's the interesting thing. Let's say I decide that my website is not appropriate for uh, you know, public viewership, and I want to ban this site from my computer. Well, what I can do is I can alias my website to basically a null IP address. Uh, what I can do is, let's say I want to make, whenever I access my website, I want to go to 0.0.0.0, .0 which effectively just means don't, don't actually access this site, just give up, don't even bother. All I have to do is type in 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0 uh, and then I type in my website name. So lukesmith.xyz. Uh, so I'm going to save the file. Now I'm going to reload. And look at that. Uh, I can no longer access my site. Uh, pretty convenient. Um, so basically what you can do is, let's say you don't want someone on your computer accessing a particular website. You can just throw it in your hosts file. And that'll do the dirty work for you. Um, so let's say you care about uh, blocking ads. Well, first off, I don't actually want to block my own site. So I'm just going to let that go. Um, so let's say you, you want to block ads. Theoretically, what you would have to do is put every single site that, uh, or excuse me, every ad provider in here, uh, linking them all to 0.0.0, .0 and that would be a huge pain. Well, conveniently, there are people uh, who have compiled enormous lists of all the different ads and tracking companies in the whole world, um, and I've actually compiled them here for you. Um, so I'll provide a link to this file. But it is, oh geez, 50,000 lines long. How big is this? Okay, it's more than a meg. Um, so this is a huge list of ads, tracking IPs. Um, there are like porn sites. There are, uh, you can block Google sites if you don't want them tracking. Uh, you can block social media sites, et cetera, et cetera. Pinterest, Tumblr, let's say you're too distracted by MySpace. You want to block it. Um, and you can just add them into your hosts file. Um, so I'm going to provide a link to this. And basically what you do, let's say I want to actually add these. Um, let me go into the right folder. Um, so here's the file IPS. And that's the file we just talked about. So of course to add these on Linux, what you just do is um, make sure you're the root, u root user. Um, I'm actually going to exit this so it doesn't get confused. And just... Um, uh, cat all of that onto Etsy slash hosts. Um, and when you do that, of course, you're going to have this huge list of different domains um, that you don't want to uh, pay attention to anymore. So if we pull up our browser and go to, uh, let's say Google was on the tracking list, or excuse me, the uh, block list, go to google.com. Oh, look at that. Nothing showed up. Uh, and of course, if you actually look at what you're pinging, if you ping google.com, uh, you will see you are actually just uh, pinging your, yourself. You're not really doing anything. Um, now, I will say one little side note is um, some people do, you can put, uh, you know, 127.0.0.1, but it's better to put all zeros just because uh, I think there's a timeout if you're using 127.0.0.1, but, you know, that's just a little note. Um, but I did verify you can do this on Windows as well. Um, so you just have to go to C Windows System 32 Drivers Etsy, 
Uh, and then there's a host file in there as well, which works the same way, I think, from this, based on this highly reliable random site that I found. Uh, but it looks like the syntax is the, exactly the same. Um, so again, I'm gonna provide a link to this uh, in the description, and it has a huge list of all these sites that uh, I usually block. Uh, every once in a while, since I'm a YouTuber, there are some things on Google I have to unblock, uh, you know, analytic kind of stuff. Uh, but basically, if you have this, it's a really resource unintensive way of blocking garbage sites when you don't have and you don't have to worry about anything. Uh, or again, if you have if you don't want people on your system accessing certain websites, you know, if you have a kid who might watch porn, this is a really good way of just blocking them uh, altogether. So whenever they go to some kind of porn site, uh, let's go to a porn site. Uh, everyone knows about Pornhub, so we can go there and, you know, I won't be, uh, you know, spoiling anyway. So if you go there, oh look, nothing pops up. Um, and of course, in order to change this, whoever is going to need administrative privileges, or even if you're blocking it for your own good, you at least have to go in as root and change the, you know, file. So it's at least some kind of, um, you know, deterrence, I guess. But anyway, link in the description, and thanks to the numerous subscribers that actually recommended this to me, um, because I, I never knew that you could, I, gu I guess I sort of thought in the back of my mind you could do this, but it never really hit me until a couple people recommended it to me. Um, so thanks all of you, you know who you are, uh, who did do this. So anyway, well, thanks for watching, uh, hope this is useful, see you next time.